Today I'm going to make some stuffed cabbage and I'm going to use cabbage and some white wine and some chicken broth and some carrots, tomato sauce, onions, tomatoes, some cooked rice, some celery, some garlic and some ground beef, salt, pepper and I believe that's everything. With the cabbage I'm going to cut the core out that out of there. And what I did was I uh, put the whole head of cabbage in the freezer for a day and then I took it out and put it in the refrigerator to thaw for a day. And that helps you get the, uh, the leaves separated. Here I have most a lot of the leaves separated now. And I'm just going to take and chop up the rest of this. And this will go into our filling. So I'm going to chop this up. In my pan here I'm going to add some olive oil. I'm going to add all the cabbage. I'm going to add about half of an onion. The four cloves of garlic. And half of the celery. That's about three ribs of celery, three stalks of celery. And some salt. And I'm going to cook this up. I'm going to, they've been cooking for a little bit. I'm going to add a little over a cup of broth there. And continue cooking and pretty much cook the broth out. The broth is cooked dry, pretty much dry. I'm going to add all the vegetables in this bowl here. set this pot aside. I'm going to use it again. And we're going to add the ground beef down in here. The white rice. Two cups of cooked rice. And I tasted the um, vegetables while they were cooking. They were a little bit salty. Not too bad. And some tomato sauce. And I'm going to compensate everything. I'm going to add a little bit more salt because of the um, rice and the beef. And I'm going to mix this up. Back to the same pot, I put it over heat again. I'm going to add some olive oil again. I'm going to add the carrots. That's two carrots. The other half of the celery. That's three stalks or three ribs of celery. The other half of the onion. I'm going to cook this up. Next, I'm going to add the tomato, some pepper, and I also added some pepper to the filling. Didn't show you that part. Apologize, I'm sorry for that. I'm going to add about a half a cup of the chicken broth that's left. And a cup of wine. And we're just going to let this come back up to temperature. And we will st stuff our cabbage while this comes up to temperature. I have aluminum foil sitting here 
I'm going to take the outermost leaves of the cabbage and kind of place them like this. Spread them out. Take some of our filling and put in here. Take about one fourth of it. Then I'm going to take more leaves, put those on top. filling in here. Maybe a third of it. Put more leaves. It's almost a lasagna sort of. leaves left. Put the rest of the filling in here. I'm going to take this and form this back into a cabbage, sort of. Force it back into a cabbage. Back to the stove here. I'm going to take the cabbage and put it like that. I'm going to cover it. And this is going to go in my 350 degree oven. It's, it's baked for two and a half hours. I've let it sit here for a half hour, 30 minutes. I'm going to unmold it. I'm going to get rid of all the aluminum foil and uh, get rid of all the foil. I'm going to serve it up. I'm going to cut it. Serve it up here. Just a little bit more. Garnish with a little bit of the uh, carrot and the uh, tomato. That it braised in. I would serve this with mashed potatoes. Mm. Very nice. Thanks for watching.